everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel this is kriti and i am back with another video about life here in denmark in this video i want to focus about is denmark more expensive during the winter time and when is the winter time it is definitely some people will say throughout the year the winter never leaves but i'm going to be focusing on the four months which is november december january and february and this idea just came to my mind and i thought i think this deserves a video so let's get started with this week's video focusing on if denmark is more expensive during the winter time but hey 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 if you're watching my video for the very first time a big hello this is kriti coming from india living in denmark right now making videos about life here in denmark for last two years so do consider checking all my content and then hitting that subscribe button and also i'm using the new mic i got the new mic guys just to add a little extra level of uh, you know yes i'm getting a pro youtuber and one more last thing that i want to say because i think we are now you know like a family of youtube i have not been sleeping that well this week i don't know what has happened i am not that stressed i am taking good care of myself i'm eating salmon i'm eating good food and uh, i don't know what's happening i'm taking cold shower so if you see my face little uh, stressed out it is because of not getting enough sleep let me know if you have any you know suggestions how to sleep well during the winter time or should i leave denmark i don't know like for this winter time so is denmark more expensive during winter time let's get started with this week's video number one point for me is uh, i have five points so number one point is about bills like about uh, your utilities bills about going out and then what comes back you know when you have eaten the food and everything so all the bills your utilities bills it can depend on many factors like your accommodation type how is your contract and everything but in denmark you pay electricity bill you pay heating bill you pay even water uh, bill now during the winter time it is cold so you are using your heating a lot you are using your electricity more because the days are shorter in denmark so you sometimes i'm like using the electricity like the lights all the time and then hot water you need hot water during winter time so you are definitely using your utilities more in denmark like the concept can be uh, different for different you know as i mentioned based on your contract but you pay like a fixed amount for heating throughout uh, the you know month and then at one time it gets calculated and based on your consumption you either get your money back or you pay extra we have been always getting some money but i feel like this time with the energy crisis we might not get any money back let's see i i'm not 100% sure about how things uh, gonna go now with the current energy crisis uh, if you go out now here in copenhagen the places have already started to put energy bill like cafes bars restaurants we been for a staycation for 2 days and for two people for two days we also paid like 100 kroner extra just as the energy bill so overall i feel you pay a little extra amount when it comes to you know during the winter time with all the utilities which you don't pay right away but it gets calculated and then you realized okay the consumptions were higher like if you have your own apartment uh, i'm already seeing that the electricity bill have already increased so during winter time things goes little higher on the pocket number 2 is a little personal but i feel like all the expats just like me will relate i am no longer biking during the winter time if you know my story i took some years to get started with biking but now that i'm biking cycling in denmark i just love it i love i live in a place where for me things are you know between 4 to 5 kilometers so i can easily bike but i was in india for the month of october and i came back winter i am not biking i have not uh, you know like i have not used my bike for last like 2 and 1/2 months and uh, what i am doing to now travel using public transportation so i am using the monthly public transportation for two zone so that is extra for 
winter month because i didn't use that like the public transportation the app um, to buy the passes for last i think uh, two years but suddenly the now that i'm paying i it feels like yes that's an added uh, you know expense for winter time and i'm gonna do it till till february yeah i know like danes they love to bike they bike throughout the year but uh, if you are an expat and not biking um, thank you for joining me on my journey of taking the public transportation and i'm so used to it like i don't want to even try when the sun is out okay kriti let's go out and at least you know use my bike i'm not doing it now number three is okay now what is the one thing that is fantastic about winter in denmark i will tell you it's christmas time now growing up christmas for me was only one day 25th of december like back in india and that's it and i used to be very happy if it doesn't fall on a weekend and it's a weekdays and we get holidays that was christmas for me but now that i live here in denmark oh my god christmas is not only for that one day or two days it is this entire month of december is christmas here in denmark and i know i have uh, only experienced christmas here in, uh, in like in copenhagen but i think denmark overall you know uh, does a fantastic job for christmas like oh my god there are lighting on the road there are christmas markets uh, people are you know getting uh, together spending time christmas is always about spending time with family buying gifts so definitely definitely that's an extra expense which is i think it's a good expense but yes talking about expenses it's an extra expense during the uh, winter time and i think you should not uh, uh, you know not feel the vibe of christmas so go out for christmas markets uh, enjoy those christmas delicacies have that you know fun time with friends get together have not only one gathering but two three christmas gathering with your set of friends play that game of pakalea which we played buy gifts but these are like extra expense which you want to have it but just to let you know that christmas uh, in denmark will be a little extra expensive uh, if you plan to be here next fourth point is related to especially the month of jan and feb and overall how to you know survive winter in denmark if you plan to be here now when you are in uh, denmark during the winter time you really really need to plan people do that see there is already a very good culture of going out meeting with friends uh, spending time together but in winter you really need to do like during summer time i can go and i can be in the park because i see the sunlight i see people i'm happy to be alone but i can't do that you can't do that during the winter time so you need to be out with friends people do that people go with the extra you know events like people are going for hot yoga people are planning for sauna people are planning for all kinds of workshop and activities especially during winter time because you need to be active you need to you know meet people that then you know that okay you're not alone here in denmark so for that i think it is definitely an extra expense uh, if you're going for a good branch at a good place it can easily cost you 200 and 250 kroner and all the prices have increased right so i think that gets added with extra uh, expense during especially these months because where you also need to make an effort to have those uh, things now the last and the fifth point is related to uh, traveling so the best thing to survive winter in denmark is to leave denmark that's what people say i think i agree with it if like i have my own country india and that is like where the sun is always shining i would love to go for a month to india i think next year i'm doing that because the, the fact that i'm not able to sleep i think i need uh, uh, i need at least a month in these four months outside denmark but that is what like i cannot just tomorrow go to india because it's an extra expense uh, on my pocket and then even if you plan to go to anywhere else where you can see the sun not if you're going to india or your own country anywhere you go you plan that's an extra expense and i feel that people do that uh, but yeah 
extra expense during the winter time because summer i just love to be here i just love the uh, summer time here in denmark but winter i think i would love to travel more so yes that was uh, the video for this week five points energy bills related to everything your uh, if you're not biking your public transport simple but maybe i think if you have the car like the electric car you are definitely paying extra amount let me know in the comment christmas is uh, definitely fantastic but it will be expensive uh, if you are here during that time jan and feb and overall uh, these four months are little tough uh, in denmark so you really need to plan those things but when you do those things there is extra expense and if you're planning to travel and if you can travel that is so fantastic but that also comes with an extra expense on your pocket so i hope you like the video please give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to like share and subscribe and let me know uh, about your expenses during the winter time and let me also know how and what are you doing to have a good night's sleep uh, give me good suggestions yes give me good suggestions i will see you next friday till then take care and with all the love and support thank you so much this is critical comedy shining off signing off bye bye workshop and activities especially during winter time